so much. I have to, uh, of course, firstly apologize for being uh, very, very late today. Uh, everybody asks me, how do you manage, you know, being a working mother, uh, having a young child, having a career, you know, having um, a social life. And the truth is that I obviously don't manage very well. Uh, and it's very difficult to multitask. Uh, so you have to forgive me for being late today. And thank you all for being patient and for waiting. I was really excited to come today. Um, because, you know, what is happening in the world is really very interesting for me uh, as a person, as a user of technology, but most importantly, as a young parent. Really, I've had uh, many challenges in life up until now, but one of the most challenging things that I've ever had to face is to be a parent. And uh, I'm a very competitive person also. Most of my friends will tell you that. So when I'm given something to do, I want to be the best at it. And what, m what more can you be invested in than the development and the growth of your own child? You know, somebody who's a part of you and that you have this unspeakable bond with, and then, you know, you give birth to her and she's out in the world, and you can see her becoming her own person, and you know how important your influence is on her. How do you be a good parent? How do you raise a child uh, that is good with the right values? What are the right values? How much control, how much discipline, uh, how much should you let them explore, how much should you teach, how much should you guide? These are things that I wrestle with every day, and everyone has an opinion on it. Often those opinions are contradictory, conflicting, and it can be very confusing. So all, you know, and especially I think when you are in the public eye, when it's not just me watching Inaya grow up, but you are all seeing her take her first steps, do her first wave, interact with the media, you know, when she was three months, six months, you've seen her grow on social media as well. I feel that the pressure is more on me as a parent to deliver those expectations, as well as, you know, at some point she will also be aware that she's in the public eye. There are already people who ask me, you know, uh, what do you want Inaya to be when she grows up? Do you think that she'll be a sports person like, you know, her grandfather? Maybe she'll be the captain of the Indian women's cricket team. Will she be an actor, given that she's surrounded by so many actors? You know, and it's impossible to answer, answer um, questions, but I think the one thing that I always turn to is that I don't know what she's going to be, but I want to empower her to be the best at whatever she chooses to be. I want her to have choices in the world. I think that's what empowerment is about. And I just want her to grow into a beautiful person with the right values, whatever those right values are, that we together as a family and a society decide, you know, we want our children to become. Uh, one of the most hotly debated subjects when it comes to parenting is, of course, the use of technology. And that's something that, you know, again, as young mothers, young parents, we discuss all the time. How much technology uh, is good for your child to be exposed to. Uh, I've had conversations myself with child psychologists and neuroscientists because I am so competitive and I want to know, I want to do everything properly. You know, how much screen time, when is a good time to introduce them to screen time. Uh, and I remember having a very interesting chat also with a neuroscientist for a pediatric neuroscientist who said, it's not screen time. Uh, I said, you know, uh, so many grandparents live so far away from her. So many relatives want to chat with her on FaceTime or WhatsApp video calls, etc. I don't want her to do that because I've been told no screen time at all. And he said, it's, it's, that's not true. What is, uh, what is bad about technology is when it's not interactive with the child. That's what retards the child's development. So FaceTime with the grandparent is good because there's an interaction that's happening. There's a social interaction. There's expressions. It's a two-way conversation. So I thought that was an interesting takeaway. And that's where I thought that I can bend the way that I think and the way that we've been conditioned as new age parents uh, to accept technology into my parenting. Again, I completely appreciate the value of uh, you know, what we're going to see today, the launch. I don't want to give away too much, and I actually don't know too much also because this is an advancement on, you know, the previous model, Nico 1. So I'm also here to learn. Uh, but, you know, I think that there's so much wonderful um, development that's happened whereby as, again, two people, two working parents in a house, where often when I'm at work and Kunal is at work, uh, I have to leave Anaya with trusted uh, help, and we're lucky to have that. But how much stimulation is she getting all day when neither of us is around? How much interest is that person taking in, in, in showing her books or teaching her about colors and words and the world and you know, s physical exercise, fun, um, music? 
those are things that I wanted to be surrounded with at all times because the early ages of being a child are the most important when it comes to development. But can I give up my job for that? Should I give up my job for that? Those are, again, things that I grapple with. What I love about, you know, what, uh, you know, is being developed again, you know, when, when I learned that there's an Indian tech company that's actually creating that gateway, enabling us to use technology responsibly when it comes to parenting, I was very excited, which is why I'm so happy to be here. Um, this is something that I have seen a little bit of. Uh, it's really something that, again, as I stress time and time again, you know, as uh, the households are becoming more and more non-joint and, you know, unitary, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing to expose your child to, a lot to learn from such that where you can limit the uh, social content that your child is being exposed to uh, through technology, as well as use it in an interactive way that will foster development. So that's what we're here to say. I'm speaking about it ambiguously also because I know that people have spoken before me. I don't know how much has been said already and how much will be said. But um, I'm here to talk about how it will be wonderful and how, how I'm so grateful that Emotex has come up with something like Nico 1 and how I'm excited to learn about Nico 2 because this is something that I want to introduce in Aya 2 and that I know I'm going to be leaning on very heavily. I'm not saying it replaces people. I don't think anything can replace people and family and interaction, but it's something that we can incorporate into our parenting. So I want to congratulate Emotic, uh, Emotics. I want to congratulate Sri and his whole team on what they've done. And thank you very much for inviting me here today and making me a part of today. And I can't wait to learn more. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, I, I have to tell you all something. Whenever we've uh, connected with Ma'am, uh, her first, ma uh, with, uh, with uh, Soha, her first preference was Inaya's schedule, Inaya's timeline. Ev her world revolves around that. And, and as, as the process of development of Nico, we interact with so many parents, mothers, fathers across our country. Child is the first step for every parent. And I think uh, we really get to learn at, at when we become parents, all of us, on what kind of steps to follow. So thank you so much for this. Thank you. I, just a quick... Uh,
excited thi. today is the launch of Miko 2 um, which is of course the second edition after Miko 1 uh, this is a product of the Moticox uh, emotics um, and uh, your your of course yes uh, Sne, I know that but I was saying that you are the brain behind Miko 2 uh, and uh, it was a very exciting launch as a new parent uh, we're always looking uh, to help our child's development uh, especially working parents who spend a time at home spend kar paate hain. Um, hum esa sochte hain ki how do we stimulate the child kya acha kar sakte hain apne bachcho ke liye how do we give them the right values how do we be there for them emotionally virtually educationally uh, in a responsible way jahan pe zyada technology ka istemal bhi nahi uh, kiya jaye but uh, this i think is the answer because it's fun, it's entertaining, it's educational, uh, it provides emotional assistance also, it has music, it's uplifting, and it's really almost magical, I think, in terms of what they've done, especially the leap from Miko 1 to Miko 2. Um, so I think it's going to be in the markets at Christmas time and on sale at Hamley's. Correct. Um, and uh, I think it, it's, uh, it's a great Christmas present for all the young children. Features, what features? Features, I think it's the best thing that First of all, I don't even understand the technology behind it. For me, it, that's why I'm saying it's, it's magical. It's a um, face recognition. Hota hai. Um, so it can actually sense when somebody walks into a room. It can initiate a conversation. Whatever your child has studied in school, when they then it can do exam revision or test revision with your children. Um, uh, here are uh, security features. Where your data is private, which I thought was a wonderful feature also, which they added. And then um, you can actually also so call your child and be available. Aapka face, you can make. What is it called? The Teleconnect. feature. Teleconnect. So a teleconnect feature hai, uh, pe aap apne ko dekh sakte hai, ghar pe khelte huye, and this can actually revolve um, and move with your child. So there are so many wonderful features in this, and of course it also dances very well. I'm already putting this in my handbag, uh, which is why I've color coordinated this with, uh, I think it goes really well. Um, you're coming home with me, yes? Yes. 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 Um, I don't know what they can say. They are uh, popular on social media. Um, that's all I can say. Uh, I am very excited hu. I think that she is very talented. I think that she is very talented. 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 She is very So she is confident. She is very talented. And I think that she is, um, you know, got the right film also to launch her. And I think the promo of the film also looks exceptional. Uh, so I think that she's going to make a big impact and I wish her all the best. No, I don't want advice. Neither do I want advice, nor do I want to give her advice. She's very capable. Uh, my mother always said that set is one director. Hai. Uh, so don't get confused. You must listen to your director. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, no, not at all.